temperatures rise and melt the ice in my cold veins I'll tell you a story Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Oh So Sincere Show and of course I'm sincere. Um, I want to do a life update for y'all, okay? Because a lot has happened. A lot of decisions have been made. A lot of choices have been choiced and you know, it's time to just go ahead and let it out. And let's go ahead and get this out the way. Today's my birthday. Woo! Turn up, okay? I am 33. I am getting finer with age, you know. Put some respect on my name. So, I'm coming to do a little update. Fill you in on a couple things on what's been happening. And I'm going out, so I figure why not do my makeup <clears throat> and also give y'all a little update. Um, first of all, give me another round of applause, okay? Because I reached my goal of 150. <laughs> I reached my goal of 150 subscribers by my birthday and I'm so proud. I literally hit the 150 today, like today. I was 148 yesterday. I was literally out there begging motherfuckers like, oh, it's my birthday. Do me a favor. Help me out. But you know, today I was like, I'm gonna give it to the end of the day today. I'm gonna give it to the end of the day today to get my motherfucking, uh, oop, 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 shit dropping. Hold on, let me let it drop. <laughs> to get my YouTube together, right? To get my subscriber count up. So I'm so happy about that. That I got, that I accomplished that goal. I accomplished my first goal and I accomplished the second one. Now I'm gonna do it a little longer this time. This time I'm going for 500 subscribers before 2023. That's what I'm going for. 500 subscribers before 2023. I think I'm reaching a little bit considering I only have 150 right now, but We'll see. We'll see how close I can get to 500. But right now I'm priming my face and I primed it with some Fenty. The Fenty primer. You know what I'm saying? Ugh, I should have primed it before I started this so I can let it sit on my face. Um, also, the products, I'll be, I'll be telling y'all the products I'll be using throughout this because I did get a couple of new things that I do want to show y'all. Um, so I did that. What did I start with next? Eyebrows. Okay, so. Oh, I got this Duo lash glue right and it's in it's in this green box and i watched this girl do makeup tutorials and she lays down the girl's eyebrows with this glue first so i was like oh i want to try that she was like it helps to keep it in place blah 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 so that's what i'm gonna try to do that's what i'm gonna try to do so let me get into what the hell's been going on so i know y'all probably noticed by like some of my vlogs that you haven't been seeing barack which is my my black pibble my boy dog all over my face you haven't been seeing him because i had to go ahead and let him go go ahead and let that baby go um he ended up biting my friend's son maisha to be exact she he bit um, her middle son and when i tell you that was just something that i did not plan on dealing with that really fucked me up because barack was my baby no bullshit barack was my baby he was my emotional support dog, but he just ten he just has his tendencies to where he just fucking attacks. Like he just he bites unprovoked. No reason at all. He literally bites unprovoked. Oh, this one's so much better than when I use my regular um. Ooh. Ooh. This one. Ooh. Oh my god. No, you didn't. No, you didn't just show me some shit, B. Ooh. I probably need to trim my brows, but... Ooh, I'm going to keep it like that, though. I'm going to do a little cleaner. Just a little, just a little slight cleaner on that shit. So it is starting to beat up a bit, so I probably should um, use less glue than what I'm using. Because that was the problem with me using the black glue. As soon as I put that shit on there and brush it out, that shit started to beat up. So I need to use less glue. So I'm going to use less glue on my left eyebrow ooh, 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 get up out there but it definitely is doing what she said it's gonna do let me not brush it no more because it's starting to dry hold on oh oh no oh no there's a little pieces let me get this together hold on all right all the rest of that should be able to get covered up damn it i'm dropping shit so it bit the boy unprovoked stressed me out 
made me like anxious because you know that's my friend i i don't want nothing to happen to her fucking son and then the type of girl when i tell you if shit would have went even any even a little just a tiny bit worse i would have fucking turned myself in if it would have went even a little bit to the left any more than what it already did i would have turned myself the fuck in and said bitch get whatever money you need to get out of me because i was so distraught by that shit and that for that to be my my friend's son like come on now barack come on now mind you he done bit several other people before and i had to pay a lot of money and my mother didn't have to pay a lot of money for what he has done you know what i'm saying um so he was definitely a liability for me but my my spirit being that dog loving type of person i couldn't just let him go like that i just could not let that boy go like that even though it was probably necessary to let him go my ex i will give him that one thing he wanted to do was get the, get rid of barack and i was just like you don't understand anything that's my baby blah blah and when that situation happened with my friend i had to just go ahead and say fuck it i had to just go ahead and say fuck it he gotta go i mean i locked him in the cage i ain't look at him i ain't do nothing like i said because i couldn't i couldn't i couldn't it fucked me up too much because he, he's just like and you know what's crazy i was like after all this because you know i plan on relocating Ro relocating to jersey and oh i'm using crown case pomade i'm not gonna lie i don't like it i don't like it to do my brows i'm trying to find other brows but this is all i have to do my brows so that's why i'm using it but i don't like it it's so dry the pomade gets so dry and like i don't even know how it stays moist at all but my brows look good after I do everything I need to do, but I really dislike it. But um, back to what I was saying. Like, and that put like a, that for me, it put like a strain on my fucking friendship now because, you know, that's her child. So I, I have to respect however she feels about whatever happened to her damn child, you know? So that was stressful for me. But we talked about it and everything, you know, was good or whatever. But I still had to let that nigga go. Animal Control came and let him go. I signed him over. I knew it was a possibility. It would probably put him to sleep. I told him, I don't want to know if you got to put him to sleep. He tried to bite the damn Animal Control dude when he came. Thank God. But I had the muzzle on him. So he couldn't do exactly what he wanted to do. And in that moment, I was like, see, I can't. I can't deal with this. I can't deal with this. Obviously, the dog don't feel don't feel my energy. He don't feel that I give a fuck. He don't feel like what he's doing. He don't feel like what he's doing is really making me, me, me little up. Excuse me, I'm sorry. What he's doing is really making it hard for me to even function at all. When he start, when he does shit like this, and financially, I am not in no place to be fucking paying for nobody's dog bites. Especially because he's no, he's met the damn boy before. That's the part that gets that bothers my spirit. You've met this kid before. You've been around this kid before. But you anxious or you're, you're, you're fucking like panicking or your anxiety is so high that you just, you just attack with no fucking reason, unprovoked. And so I had to go ahead and let my boo go. So Barack is no longer with me. And, you know, even with that, I had to go ahead and accept that and be okay with that. They look, they're looking a little, they're looking a little weirdo. They're looking a little weirdo, but it's all right. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. But um, it was starting to get a little stressful for me. Ooh, I did not rub in that primer all the way. So with me being, you know, in this life by myself now, being a single woman, I don't want to take care of what I, what I had accumulated over my relationship. Because I, sh I shouldn't be left to do it alone. And I'm going to be left to do it, go do it alone. So that was the plan for me to get rid of the dogs anyway. Um, this is also Crown Case. This is one of their concealers in 15. This is some old ass cover girl I have. I'm going to mix them together to make my highlight for my eyebrows. I'm the type of person that will use some shit till it's down to its last drop. I might cut this shit open and try to get the shit out of it. Like, I'm that type. If I'm spending my money, I'm going to use this shit. Look at me. I can't even get the shit out of this. Okay. It came out. So, so that's why I knew I had to get rid of all the dogs, period. Because I'm not about to be left with another situation or another responsibility where 
I wasn't the one that made a decision by myself to even get these responsibilities. So if you get to be in the clear and gone doing your own thing, so the hell will I. But I'm just an emotional fucking creature. So I've never been the type to just get rid of a dog like that. Every dog that I've had my whole life has been dogs I've had for a very long time. So realizing I had to like get rid of my dogs like that really fucked me up. It really fucked me up. So, but I still have Roxy in Miami. Um, Roxy, you know, I'm doing my best for her. Honestly, it all depends on what her mama and daddy say. By the end of it, they, I just, they, they got to the end of my lease and then I, I, you know, it is what it is, you know, but I keep her until then because I just, you know, I love them that much. You know what I'm saying? If they're able to find some place for her beforehand, that's cool. But if you can't, that's cool as well. Cause I love her that much. And I'm in Miami, my baby, my baby. I was like, I almost, because I was so such in a rut over Barack, I was about to give both of them to animal control. That's where I was at that point because I was so over it. I was so over the shit. I was so over the fuckery with these damn dogs, the stress, the anxiety. And I'm, I can't be stressed out. I really cannot be stressed out. That's not good for me. It's really not. So I was like, I can get rid of both of them. And then I sat and thought about it for a second. And I was like, you know what? Let me not do that to Miami. It is not her fault when Barack does his fuck shit. It's not her fault. Even though I'd be like wanting to put it on her too. But Miami is not a bad dog at all. Every situation she's been in is like other motherfuckers bringing their drama to her. <laughs> That's the type of shit she be in. Like she don't even be with the shit. She just want to fucking be pet, be petted eat and be a baby because like she don't even know how heavy she is she don't know how strong she is none of that but she'll she'll go toe to toe with you if you want to like if it's another dog trying to square up with her she'll hit the, she'll do it if she has to but that's not her personality so i was like let me not punish miami for what barack has done so i took it back i decided to keep her and then i was like i'll find her a good home because she's the type of pit bull to where she will find a good home she really will. I think she needs an elderly family. Honestly, I really do. I think Miami needs an elderly family because she moves slow. She don't know her weight. She just want to be pet. So I feel like I need to find a good old elderly couple for her. But she is still strong at the same time. Because when I walk her, that's a lot of fucking work because she pulls real bad. So I still need somebody with a little bit of energy or something. Let me see. Let me see. How they looking? How they looking? They look some they look similar, right? I feel like that one's sharper. But hey, your eyebrows not the same. They cousins, they ain't sisters. So basically I went ahead and was like, all right, Cecilia, relax. Relax. All right. Don't get rid of Miami. Stop playing these. Definitely spray that in a completely different direction. Um, don't get rid of Miami. It's not her fault. Why why you why do you do that to her? And that was just me just like saying fuck it. So, Miami's still here living her best life, eating me out of house and home because she definitely eats more than Roxy. Um, damn it, I colored my damn brows. So, yeah, so my baby boy is gone. I was very sad about that, but I had to understand that because I can't allow these dogs to get me fucked up in my life, even though I love them so much. Even though I love them so much, you know? What I, my life is more important than, you know, putting it on the, my life on the back burner for dogs. And these niggas ain't even making me no money, to be completely honest. No matter how much I post on their Instagram. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's given. It's given. It's given what needed to be given. Let me put a little bit more underneath this one. I, feel, I swear I feel like one eyebrow is more down than the other. Like, I feel like I need to come more down on this. They look so good though. <laughs> I hate when they look so good differently. Just slightly. I'm just slightly do it. That's the best I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna change. I'm not gonna do anything else because if I do anything else, they're gonna be dramatically different. So that's what's going on. So I'm down to two dogs. I'm down to two, do two dogs. Um, what else? What else is going on in my Liz life? Oh, also in August, my sister and her 
fiance are moving in. She's bringing the white man into my environment. Let me stop. But yes, yeah, they're moving in. And I'm very excited about this. We're moving in because we're going to help each other out. She's moving in to help me out. And I'm going to let her move in um, so I can help her out because she wants to move to Vegas. And then, you know, let's stack this money and save money together. And I feel like black people need to do more, more of this with each other. That's our damn problem. We don't do this with each other enough. Mexicans know how to fucking do that. Asians know how to fucking do that, I think. I don't know. But we need to fucking be doing that. Helping each other out. Helping each other stack money. And with me, you know, wanting, wanting to relocate. Damn, that's a lot. Um, with me wanting to relocate, I need to stack my money up too. And it's been quite difficult. Hey, me on me. Hey, me on me. And it's been difficult with me trying to do that, living by myself. It's just been really hard. No bullshit. It's been really hard. But, you know, with my sister moving in, it's going to help me out. We're going to get on the same page. And I'm very excited about that. I know it's going to be funny. And I'm so ready for it. I already told her. You better get your white man in order. <laughs> Don't have him coming in my shit for me to be, be for me to go off. Okay? Don't do that. I definitely put too much foundation on because this Juvia's Place foundation, I got the liquid foundation in um, 205 and 210 is what I'm using. But I also have, I think, like a, I have also have another number as well. I just don't remember the number. But... I definitely use too much but that full coverage you don't need a lot and i definitely use a lot just now i shouldn't have used as much but too late too late i'm gonna make it shake i'm gonna make it shake make it work i'm gonna be caked up today though <laughs> i'm gonna be caked up because that full coverage ain't nothing to play with because this full coverage is real you see how it's covered up my fucking Marks with no issue. That's how much coverage this the Juvia's Place Liquid Foundation is. I, and I put way too much. Way too much on. It's all good in the hood. I look orangey. But it'll come together. So maybe, because I was trying out the 205 and the 210 together, maybe they're too close in color. I probably should have used the other one that I have. Oh, which was sitting right here. I also have 240. This is a lot darker than these two. So, but we'll see how it comes out once I um, contour and shit. I never get stressed out when it doesn't look the way I want it to look, you know? I'm too toned all over anyway. But where was I at? Having my sister move in with me, I'm so happy, glad, sad, mad. Man, I'm so happy, glad, sad, mad. Because she knows how I am. He doesn't. You know what I'm saying? So he has to learn me just like how I have to learn him. Because, you know, once you live with each other, that's when you really start to learn some shit about somebody. And it ain't always fun what you learn. So this should be interesting. I know how to live with my sister, but I've never lived with a white man before. So we'll see how this goes. It should be interesante. Okay? Nothing's funnier than highlighting your face. I remember I used to never do this <laughs> and then i remember i used to never contour now i contour all the time um and then my contour stick broke this is also juvia's place this is in catsina i love these fucking sticks i really love this stick i was so mad it broke i was so mad it broke but it did so i'm gonna let my concealer sit for a bit let it set that's what i'll be seeing people do so i'm going along with what i see people do Put my contour where I need it. That'll work. Put my contour where I need it. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to move in with my sister. Well, for my sister and her man's to move up in here. I'm definitely excited for it. I'm just trying this out because I have extra concealer on my hand. So why well, waste it? Why wasted? Where, where else they be putting it? Doing this shit here. Let's see how that looks. <laughs> I just be doing shit with my makeup, y'all. I don't be having no clear direction of what I be doing with my makeup. No clear direction at all. So while I'm letting that sit, I'm gonna do an eyeshadow. I'm gonna definitely do me an eyeshadow. I have bought two palettes from Juvia's Place. 
I got the Honey Rebel palette. Let's see if y'all can see that without the glare of the, what's the face? And then I have also have gotten the, what is this one? The Warrior 2 palette. So damn pretty. So damn pretty. So this is the colors in the Rebel Honey. Really dope. I could definitely do something with that today, but I think I'm gonna fuck with the, um, oh, I got makeup on it. Oh, that was my fear, but it's okay. Um, these colors seem like something more of my speed for today. So I think I'm gonna do some eyeshadow with these colors. So yeah, so definitely with me doing more vlogs, that should be kind of funny having my sister and her fucking man be all in my damn business. But hey, you know, I digress. Um, let's see, maybe I should, I should probably pack my lid with some transfluent power, translucent, but you know what I'm saying. Um, before I do this. Cause one thing about my eyelids, baby, they gonna crease. They gonna crease every time, okay? They are going to give you, oh my God, someone's itching up here. They are going to give you anxiety with the creases. I don't know why me doing this is making someone up here itch. I love my sister though. And y'all like my vibe with me, with me and my sister. Y'all love that vibe. So I think that'll be dope for my, for my videos. And I'll probably do a lot more videos with my sister. Cause y'all like our dynamic and we do too. We do too. I, probably sh I should probably do something with this concealer first and then set it, then do my eyeshadow. Right? So as y'all know, I'm trying to live my best life. You know what I'm saying? I want to get out the house. I want to meet people. I want to, you know, mingle. I want to, you know, figure out my inner les figure out excuse me figure out my inner lesbian what i like in women what type of woman i want what bump so i'm trying to hit the town and have a good old time right i was getting so caught up in my emotions of everything that i was slick fucking up what i was trying to do <laughs> bitch you trying to go out and meet people but you so emotionally attached to niggas why why it's the cancer in me y'all i ain't even gonna lie to you the cancer in me is a piece of shit and she's an emotional Emotional thought, you know what I'm saying? She want love and affection from all the wrong people instead of just sitting back and learning how to love her damn self. So, you know, I had to wake up and check my motherfucking self. I had to wake up and check thine self because I was really fucking up. I was really fucking up. I was overthinking it real bad. I was thinking that the first girl that was interested in me had to show me this, that, and the third. No, bitch, that's not how this shit work. Plus, why are you trying to fall in love again? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you trying to do that? You know that's bad territory. You know that. I'm going to have to set that again, but whatever. You know that's bad territory for you. You know you're emotionally retarded. You know that. What are you doing? Why can't you just enjoy yourself and what you got going on why can't you just do that and i just couldn't do it so i had to literally check myself before i wrecked myself bitch i had to literally check myself like bitch you know damn well you are not equipped to be dating nobody talking to nobody or at least nothing serious for sure because you still out of you still learning shit and re like trying to redirect your own thoughts to, to, to shit you know and trying to make sure you're making the right decision for yourself I am putting too much shit on, but hey, we're packing it. We're packing it on tonight. It's my birthday. I get to pack. I get to pack it in. Okay, it's still there. How about this? I cover up the goddamn concealer. I'm not the concealer, but the um contour. So I'm gonna keep packing it in. Can never go wrong with constantly packing this shit in. And I need to redo my contour on my nose because I kind of covered it up a little bit. I'm going to use this little brush I got from um, Vanity Planet. I got a goddamn yeah. 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 Alright, so when I blend that out, it's going to be crazy. And I'm going to leave my nose on there the way it needs to be left on there. And time to what is it? What am I doing? Oh, matter of fact, I'm going to blend out my contour. I'm gonna put a little bit more over here. Ooh, ooh, a little piece of fell out of it. A little more over here. 
Do just a little bit more over here. Just a little. And the rest should be all good. Yeah, the rest is good. So, where was I at, y'all? So, yeah, I had to really check myself and be like, listen. Listen, girl. Okay. You know you don't want no damn relationship. You know you're not ready for one. You know you're trying to figure out what you want. So, why are you fucking panicking like this? <laughs> and expecting people to treat you in a way that they don't really have to treat you any better. Like, why are you... Expecting them to call you every night. Why are you expecting them to be all up in your business? Like, and then these, and then like these people that I'm talking about be single too. So who am I to fucking check these niggas? Like they don't deserve to do what the fuck they want to do. Like, come on, sincere. You also want to go out and do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. And you also said, and another thing, I have to hold myself accountable. I done said I want to meet friends, and whatever happens with these friends, you know, it goes from there. Why am I trying to fucking go straight into a relationship after getting out of a horrific situation? It's just so dumb that I, it, to me, when I, when I think back on the shit I'm doing, it's so dumb. And I'm fucking myself up. I'm doing it to myself. So I have to hold myself accountable and check myself and be like, girl, if you want to fucking have fun, then have fun. And stop putting like limits on yourself and limits on the people that you allow in your life. Fuck it. Just enjoy yourself. Enjoy life. Life is too short. Motherfuckers is dying every second up in this motherfucker, man. And you know, for it to be my birthday, that means something to me even more. Like, enjoy your life, honey. And stop holding yourself back. And that's what I tend to do on a regular basis. Ooh, it's getting hot, this robe. I might have to cut on the fan in a second and come back to y'all. But I'm going to keep going, though. I'm going to keep going. So. Ew. 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 You see it? Are you Oh, you see it? You see it? I should probably do my my fucking nose. Blend that up into the brow, baby. Blend it up into the brow. It's so creamy. These contour sticks are so creamy. And I love them for it. I'm really not good at highlighting or contouring. I just do shit. I just do shit and I just be like, I hope it turns out the way that I want it to. <laughs> and now I'm gonna blend out this concealer and I'm gonna do my contour again because it done, it done ate up. That shit done ate up my contour. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's getting there. I'm starting to get hot, so I'm gonna cut on this fan. I hope it's not too loud. Is it? Hold on, I'll be right back. Let me listen back to this, see how loud it is. 100% <laughs> too loud, 100%. So I just, I let it cool, my, cool me down a little bit. And now I'm gonna get back to it because I don't have time to stop. You know what I'm saying? I gotta get ready for my little, my little outing. But um, that was too much. What's wrong with me? I don't need this much. Beginners, beginners with makeup. This is what, this is what, this is what we go through. This is what we go through. So I'm going to set under here. Go ahead and tap that. Tap that. Let me put a little, because I hate when I do this and it leaves like a line. So this is all I'm going to do for right now. And hopefully my powder foundation will help that out. Two. I'm gonna set that. I'm gonna set this. I want to get more of a neutral colored setter, setting powder. Get these laughing lines because a bitch can be laughing. A bitch be laughing for real. And when I start to laughing, that makeup gets caked up in my laughing line so crazy. And all the creases just come out to just prove themselves. Assholes. God, it's getting up. Look at look, look at my damn row. I look like a I look like a nigger. I done painted a whole bit. This is not how they be looking. But hey, it's gonna come. It's gonna come together. <laughs> this is not how they be looking, girl. When they be doing their makeup, this is not how they be looking. Hmm. There's no reason. 
There's no reason for all this on my nostrils. Look at this shit. Honeysickles, listen, listen. Just know, y'all see, y'all should have seen me fully made up already. Y'all should have already seen me fully made up already. So just don't judge what I look like right now. Oh my God, is it six o'clock? I got a call come in. Is it six o'clock on the dot? I'm in my drop top, cruising the street. I'll be right back, y'all. Hold on, should I put more over there? I should put more. I should put more. All right. So this is how, give me one second, I'll be back. I gotta answer my phone. <laughs> All right, so I had a little phone call, so my plan's been pushed back to 6.30, so I have a little time. So it's like 5.30 now. I thought I was going to be done and trying on my clothes to figure that out by now. So I'm happy she called to extend it. So I'm going to do my eyeshadow. So y'all going to have to embrace this while I do my eyeshadow. After I take this off, then I'm going to set my face. Okay, cool bit. So with these colorers, ooh, this Kafuru, kaf but it's this brown color right here. This brown color right here. I'm going to probably put that all over my whole lid. And this is my first time using Juvia's Places. Um, oh, shit. Using Juvia's Place eyeshadow. So this should be... This should be tough. Because I like a like neutral smoky eye. So I think that's what I'm going to do today. Um, wait a minute. Where was I at, y'all? Where was I at? I don't even know, but just let me let me just say, I'm for, I had to refocus on loving me, taking myself out, getting by myself things, loving on myself more, and not really worrying about who's coming into my life to um like be with me or not, like not worry about anything that I shouldn't be worried about, which is none of that. I shouldn't be worried about none of that. So, oh, this is pretty. This brown is pretty. I might just do this brown color only, to be honest. Just trying to make sure I pack it in real good. Because once that crease is started, that is not fun. But yeah, this color is very pretty. Mm -hmm. This color is very pretty. And that's the type of color that like you can literally wear by yourself and do like a nice little in the corner highlight and you'll be good to go mm -hmm. yeah i think i'm gonna do that brown by itself i got a lot of stuff coming up you know what i'm saying a lot of plans a lot of events that i have going on i'm going to the tayana taylor concert because you know baby gonna retire soon so i was like i at least want to see her in concert once if she gonna stop this shit forever you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna see tayana taylor in concert i'm so ready for that shit i'm supposed to have a she in package coming today um, and then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna um, buy, get some stuff from Fashion Nova for the concerts because I just want to look good. I want to look so scrumptious for these concerts. I really want to look very scrumptious for these concerts for sure. And that's just for me. That's not for nobody. I just want to look good for me, honey. And that's on per. That's on per, baby. So my package still ain't came yet, and it was supposed to be here yesterday for Shein, but you know Shein was on that bullshit, so it didn't come. But it's whatever. It's whatever, Shein. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. But uh, hopefully it'll be here before I head out today. Because I really don't want to leave my package sitting outside my door. My sister has got me paranoid talking about there's a uh, there's a uh, package thief in Decatur. Which, granted, it is. But, you know, shut the hell up. Everything's been safe in my damn house. Shein. So for the highlight color, I'm just going to use this. Nice little brown. It's like a lighter brown than what I was using. And I'm gonna, um, it's called Udit, Y-O-D-I-T. So I'm using that one right here. Oh, that might be my package. That might just be my package, baby. Let's see how much they burnt. Mm-hmm, that might be it. Let me check. Yeah, these niggas is panicking. That is definitely my package. It better not be a nigga across the street. I know that. I'll be right back, y'all. Yes, y'all. That was she and y'all. So I'm excited about that. Speaking of double, talk that shit. I talk that shit up. But yeah, so um, I'm going to probably use some of them clothes for the night and skip through what the outfits I did choose. But we're going to see what, because I really don't remember what I bought. 
so we're gonna see um oh also outside of Tayana taylor concert i am going to alex isley concert Grant and I got to take a fucking COVID test beforehand, which makes me mad. It's like, Alex, listen, stop it. Stop it. We're well aware COVID is bullshit. Stop it. But whatever. I'm still going to go because I'm going to pay that. I'm going to go. I'm going to take the test for you. <laughs> I'm going to take the test for you or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, you deserve it. So I'm very excited to have those two musical experiences. I haven't been to a concert in over five plus years. Like... Oh, it's just a sad, sad day. It's just a sad day. Um, haven't been to a goddamn concert in years, so I'm very excited to experience both of them women, to see both of their talents. They're both super talented, so I'm very, very excited. Alex Isley's voice. <laughs> Alex Isley's voice is something, America. It is something, America. It's something that we are not equipped to handle on a daily damn basis. Okay? So I love me some Alex Isley. So I'm very excited for that. And you know I'm going to take y'all with me as the best I can. Because you know copyright. You know what I'm saying? But I will definitely be taking y'all with me as much as I can. Giving y'all some good little clips of each woman doing what the f they need to do. You know what I'm saying? Y'all. So y'all see, you see, you know, I don't blame, all right, all right, put some respect on me, put a little respect, see this, that line right there, Roxy, get out and go sit down, you want the clothes, no, you can't have the clothes, they both in there sniffing the she inbox, oh, that looks better, hold on, that looks better. So when I actually use my powder, it'll probably work out. I need more powder, y'all. That's all I got left. And what I use for my um, powder foundation is Fit Me. What is this? What brand is this? Maybelline. And right, and right now I'm using Five on Eight Hundred. What? Sorry. <laughs> I'm using Three Sixty Mocha. <laughs> and look how much I got left, bro. I, I am not okay. I gotta pour all this goddamn translucent powder back into the damn then because I decided to pour seven gallons of the shit out. Idiot. But, um, yeah, so I'm very excited and I'm, I'm just ready to get out and fucking just have fun and not care about nothing. I'm also realizing I have to stop expecting what I would do from other people. Right? And I tend to do that a lot and I do not, I do not like that about myself. Yeah, get out of there, y'all. Y'all, we don't waste nothing. Get out of there. But, um, I be expecting people to be doing shit because I would do shit. And that's not how I need to be living at all. So, I'm going to stop thinking that I everybody should be doing shit the way I do shit. And stop, start, stop expecting pe shit from people. When you expect nothing, you can't be disappointed. So that's why, that's that's where I'm at with the end. Um, where's my tiny one? Because I want to put this white in my Qantas. So there's a white in here called Zaz. Or Zax, actually. Is it Zaz? No, it's Zaz. So this right, right, white right here is Zaz. So I'm going to get some Zaz to add some pizzazz. What's that corny? I don't know. To my eye a little. Ooh, I probably should have did this before. I... Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never really tried white in my corner. I I normally do like gold or silver. This is close to silver, and it's hitting. And it's hitting, baby. These colors are so beautiful. Let's see together. Yeah, I'm in there. Okay, so that's done. That's done. Um, I gotta do my powder foundation. I'm gonna do my eyeliner so I could do these lashes in a few. Shit, I am the type to clean up as I go, honey. So that's what I am doing. So I need to set my 
contour. I forgot to set my contour. So I got a lot of cool little dope events coming up for myself and I'm very excited about it. Well, my sister moving is definitely gonna help me financially enough to, to be able to put a little bit more effort into my self-care because I'm telling you, man, I'm just, <laughs> I thought when my ex moved out, I would be like, I got this shit. I got this shit. You know what I'm saying? I've been handling this shit this whole time. But, you know, I guess I wasn't fully counting how much money he was giving me to do it. Also, I have a tendency to not want to work. So, it'd be my fault. <laughs> it do be my fault. But it's definitely going to help me, you know, get myself out of debt even more. It's going to help me uh, pay off a couple things. Get some of the things that I've always wanted. It's going to really be dope. It's going to really be dope, and I'm very excited about it. It'll be fine. I'm also very easy to please with myself when it comes to this shit. All right, let me do this eyeliner, and then I'm going to do my lashes. The video Does anybody else have a hard time doing the um, winged eye? I still have yet to really master that shit. So I just do a little big wing. Every time I use this goddamn eyeliner, my fucking eyes start watering. Or my nose start watering. My nose start watering. My nose start leaking. And I really don't like that. Because, you know, every time you keep going. Let me stop. Now I got you facing the camera. Every time you keep going with a wing eye, eye and you don't know what you're doing, you fuck up every time. One always looks better than the other every single time. No type of unison. Okay, that's, that'll work for me. So far, so good. Now I'm gonna do this powder. Do my powder and that should bring everything together. Ooh. Oh my, might be time for a new kabuki. I do need new brushes though. I be tricking when it comes to new brushes. But yeah, y'all, that's basically like all that's been going on with me. So it's been an up and down, round and round type of thing going on. A lot of adult decisions I've been having to make, and I've been making them proudly, no matter how much they damn hurt. I've been making them and getting it done. I'm proud of myself for that because it's so hard for me to make those hard decisions. I don't know what it is. It's so hard for me to make that those decisions for myself and clear out that energy of mine that wasn't really good energy. It's so hard. So hard. I need to figure out if anybody know any tips from creasing underneath the eye how to prevent that shit please let me know because when i tell you i do not have an easy time with that i just don't um put on some mascara should i do that contour i'm not contour a highlight i'll be having to figure shit out y'all i'll be having to figure shit out when it comes to my damn makeup but I be getting it though. I don't know who, what this mascara is, but I'm using it. Oh, let me see, does it have a name on it? Troublemaker mascara. I don't know what brand. Hold on. Oh, I think this is Urban Decay's. So yeah, this is Urban Decay. Somebody gave me this. I didn't go buy it. So, and like I said, even though I'd be like, if I buy it, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use it. Shit, if you give it to me, I'm gonna use it too. <laughs> So I have these lashes. I'm not sure which one I want to choose. They're from the Lush Lash Bar. I doubt she even have her business still open. But there's Plain Jane and Brat. And they're very, like, simple lashes. I think I'm going to do Brat. Very, very simple lashes. Very, very simple. I didn't even use this. I pulled this out to use it as a different um, sponge and didn't even use it. So I'm going to set my, my face with the Elf Matte Magic Mist in set. I usually use the NYX, but today I'm going to use this one. And because I'm basically done, all I do is my highlight. Should I said before or after my highlight? I have to, let me do my highlight real quick. Put a little on the tip, put a little in the middle, put a little in the forehead, on the widow's peak, a little bit of that. And this is like a cream, cream-based highlighter. I really like it. 
I like to blend out on my nose with my finger. See how that just simply brings a little bit to your hair? glow do I see a glow there I think I do because it's a cream highlighter it does tend I probably should have did it in like a straight line or something because it does tend to be where I placed it so I have to keep doing this non-stop but I get it I get it I do this enough to get it together given a line or is it given a highlight That's just going to be what it is. Let's spray. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that felt good. So we're setting this face. We're setting this face ablaze. And I'm only going to do my makeup for y'all because... Well, not do my makeup, but do my lips just to show y'all what the full thing is going to look like because I really don't want to show y'all what that's going to look like because I still got to do my hair and my motherfucking, um, my hair and what else I got to do? My outfits. I got to go through that Shein box and figure out what my outfit's going to be because I might still go with what I already picked out, but if that Shein box got something in that thing... If that shit on his lip got some shit on his lip, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Where it is? Love is. I don't know why that came walk in my head like that. Yeah, so that's basically what I got going on right now, y'all. It's a lot of growth, a lot of um, not worrying about shit I can't control. A lot of me loving on me more you know what i'm saying that's what i need to do i've been tripping and wanting to do so many other things besides love myself and want so many people to come into my life and do what i need them to do for me like i should be doing it on my own like the hell's wrong with me shit is bonkers really oh should i make some moles i should make some moles now that i think about it now that i'm thinking about it i'm gonna probably make some moles because you know y'all know i got acne but yeah, I'm just excited for this journey for myself and, you know, loving on me and doing what I need to do myself. That's going to just take everything to the next level for myself and it's going to be so dope. So dope. I might need to put more white in my corner. It's starting to look a little brown because of the makeup. I hope this is right, y'all. I'll be back once I got my lashes on. I damn near fucking put my mirror in. Alright, y'all, I'm all done with my face i went ahead and lined my lips with brownie by juvia's place and i wanted a shiny gloss but i didn't realize that b simone b simone beauty's link in my bio was a matte one so i put that on first and i was like oh god oh god and i was like all right so i added detox on top so this is brownie i wish i had more of the liner more on my lip like this but this is what i'm rocking for today does that look right does it look oh. This is just what it is, y'all. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope you comment, like, and subscribe, bitch, because, you know, you want to be alone for the ride, right? You know? Like, join the fuck, join the party. Stop playing with me. Go ahead and subscribe. And be on the lookout for the Shein haul, because that box is in, baby, so y'all can get another Shein haul video, and I'm so excited for that. And I'll see y'all on the next video. This is what's going on in my life, y'all. What's going on with y'all? Let me know down below. I holla. Let me go hurry up. I gotta go. I gotta get dressed. I gotta say it. It was like two in the morning. I just got back on the road. Not thinking about where I'm going. Not worry about where I'm going. Somebody called 911. I'm thinking about selling my soul.